I'm Kim Olson, one of the instructors in the Mechanical Design Technology Program. We prepare students to design products using computer-aided design. In the Jig and Fixture Design course, the students design a weld fixture which holds parts in the proper position to be welded. In addition, they create multi-view drawings with all the notes and dimensions required to manufacture. This process is repeated for all course projects. In this leaf jig, the red piece part is held in the proper location, and then the jig guides the drill. The part is flipped over, and it guides the reamer the ream in the proper position. In this project, students design end-of-arm tooling for robot, which picks raw stock off the pallet fixture, places in a vise, machines top and bottom, and then returns back to the pallet fixture. In tool design, a mold is designed, 3D printed, and then run in our 90 ton injection molding press. A traditional metal mold is also designed for the same project. A 3D scanner is used to design a freeform shape like the shed antler. Once converted to CAD, it can then be 3D printed. The final project in tool design is a progressive stamping die which takes flat metal and bends it, cuts it, forms it to form the final part. I'm Jeffrey Quackenboss, and I'm an instructor in the mechanical design program here at Marine Park Technical College. In component design, projects include designing a machine shaft, the castings to support a motor and speed reducer, a sheet metal clamp, hydraulic power pack that can be used to power various machines, and finally, the design of a part of their choosing that can be injection molded. They also create multi-view drawings for each of the parts that they design that would be used in the manufacturing of that product. At the end of the program, students will combine what they have learned throughout the program to design a conveyor. This design includes determining overall dimensions, selecting the drive system, including motor speed reduction and bearings. They determine the required supports of the conveyor, calculate the stress in the frame, to assure the safety of those that would work with this conveyor. After graduation, students choose the area of design that best fits their skills. They have the choice of designing molds for plastic parts, stamping dies for sheet metal parts, jigs and fixtures for work holding during the manufacturing process, product design to design any variety of parts for the consumer use, or machine design to design a variety of machines for local manufacturers.